something you tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about Don? Don Jenkins? Who told you about that? Don't Kelly. Don't go. Who told you? There is nothing happening between Don and me. Oh, yeah, you're with him Saturday night. I don't know. No, I really don't think that... Yeah, yeah, but look, you never told me about it. Because if I'd have told you, you'd have thought something was going on. Well, you deliberately avoided mentioning it. It didn't even occur to me. Excuse me. Well, classroom squabbles, eh? Goodness me. Now, up here, I have the uh, blackboard. And I want you to make some sort of sense of what we've written up here. None of us can understand quite what it is. Yes, you sir. make this just right. Come along, come along, boy, come on. Write it down and try and make some sense of it. I'll be asking questions on it later on. In the meantime, whilst that's going on, I want you to tell me whether or not this goes right through you. <laughs> yes. Does that go through? Yes, it does. Right, congratulations and well done. Let me just check your books here. Let me check your homework oh, diaries. Sorry. Homework diaries, these are. <laughs> Strike fear into your heart. Yes, you haven't done any at all, have you? Nothing. There's just nothing in here. <laughs> Look, completely empty. Look at that. Have a seat on here, okay. otherwise it's all a bit sort of schooly and formal. There's a bell here as well. So be careful because they'll all out, be out for lunch if I do this. Have a pew. So I want to try and get to the bottom of this relationship. So we win. What, what, what exactly was going on? Because that... It was sort of going on for a year, wasn't it? I mean, this is a very deep and heavy relationship which fell to pieces at the end. Well, I think it was fine until Mike got the opportunity to go to America, basically. Yeah. And he went. I've got my career fair. My yeah. career fair. Uh, exactly. I, I, mean, I do love Georgina, but... Of course. It's Don. I know, it's all a bit quick, really, isn't it? Well, I thought about it because I thought, well, he's only just gone to America. He's mm. disappeared. And um, and then, of course, while you were in Scotland, I think there was that little uh, bit of party. interest shown at yeah. the party. Um, and now he's gone completely uh, straight in there with Don. <laughs> um, Seems a bit flighty to me. I'm sorry, but she does. <laughs> Must be on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it now? Are you are you out now? I left uh, Grand Chill about three weeks ago on the screen. So I set Mike's in America running. Big move. Uh, yeah, I feel, feel it was. Yeah. Uh, Granger was great the year I did, but I think it's time to move Does on. Does that mean that you'll uh, cross lots, because it's almost next door and they do EastEnders, and a lot of people have uh, got Todd Carthy on the programme next week, and uh, so he's an old uh, Grange Hiller. Not yet. I'm moving to ITV, the, the other side. Really? Uh, what are you doing? It's uh, a situation comedy, right. second series, about the Garden Park. So. And you'll be continuing there, sort of, well, I was going to say heartbroken, but of course you won't be heartbroken, because <laughs> you got Don. Well, actually, he left in December. Right. So, and the series will, is on at the moment, and then it will be repeated again. And what will you do? What are you going to do? Rest. Rest? <laughs> no, no EastEnders for you? I always <laughs> think that it's like a natural progression, that that's it, you know, so once you've done it. Extenders. The bullying thing is, is very big at the moment, that's very important, yeah. mm. isn't it? I think it's uh, different for growing children, because normally it's bullied with boys, but now it's girls bullying girls, yeah. which does happen, mm. and uh, unfortunately, that's important. Uh, awkward, yeah. It's never been a stranger to controversy, has it, Grange Hill? No. It's always no. quite happy. I think to it's always in school, so it's always something you, I think you must cover. And about a year ago, I mean, you sort of hit out and said, for goodness sake, you know, this is what school's all it's about. Yeah. That's what it is. I think in the papers you were saying yeah. that's the matter. It's just you. a shame that when we try to, when we deal with realistic issues, the kids want to see that, but someone out there doesn't want the kids to see it. Mm. But I feel that they should because make people more aware of what really happens. I think it's really educational yeah. because the kids are concerned. They can learn something from watching the program and how to handle situations. Mm -hmm. Well, there's lots of ground covered there in our first chat of the morning. Will you come back a little bit later on and take some calls? Certainly. Yeah, if you have a question that you would like to put to our two guests this morning, uh, do give us a ring now. The telephone number, of course, is 081 811 8181. Dial very carefully and we'll try and put you through to Rene and Samantha, our guests this morning. Thank you very much indeed for the moment. We'll okay. see you a little bit later. And you're going to review a movie for us later on as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could review this, actually, if you like. Now sit down <laughs> and decide whether or not it was a good one. Once again, Evergreen Forest and Raccoons. This is the Evergreen Forest. Oh, I don't know. I need to go to college or something. I know we'll manage. Well, at least I should look into it. Yeah. Just don't be like that. Well, it's obvious what's more important to you, isn't it? Well, I love it. Yeah, we love sport more. Oh, the course of true love on Grange Hill, eh? <laughs> it doesn't often run smoothly. No. But then there wouldn't be a story, would there? 
Welcome again, both of you. Sam. Sam Lewis. I can call you Sam, you can't I? Can. Right. Sam. You don't like Sammy. Rennie told me secretly that you don't like Sammy. No, okay. None of us will say Sammy, all right? <laughs> Anyone who says Sammy will write lines and stay on after school, okay? And Rennie. What would you both normally be doing on a Saturday morning? At this precise moment in time, I'd probably be in bed. In bed, <laughs> fast asleep, or, or having a cup of tea, or breakfast, or well, watching telly. Well, I might telly. be actually sitting no, watching watch telly. Live, actually, I think. I do watch going on. You. you don't have to write lines <laughs> after the programme. <laughs> We've got masses of questions here. So let's start with one from the studio, first of all. Let's start with John. Where's John? John's up here. Did you ever get rejected because you were so popular? What do you mean by friends? Yes. Um, no. I think your friends seem to accept the fact. I think it takes a while for them to get used to it. And when you meet people who become your friends while you're in Grain Chill, they're, first of all, um, very daunted by the fact of it. But, no. Get used to the idea. Yeah, what about you, Annie? Um, Do you come across well, jealousy or...? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's more so for the boys. Yeah, definitely. Because if a boy is jealous of another boy, he'll show it in a more than a girl. Um, it can be very uh, frightening sometimes. M but more aggressive. How did, how did you deal with that? Uh, the best way is just to walk away, but it's very hard to walk away from something when you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> but you were both at the same stage school, weren't you? That's right, yeah. Is that not a situation which is, they're used to at your stage school, that people are going to get jobs and very often, well, hopefully, will become quite well known? Well, when I actually um, auditioned for Grange Hill, first of all, there was probably all my members of my class went for it as well. Oh, and so then it, it was all very competitive. down and down. But when, like, three of us actually got it in my class, Everybody was so delighted and pleased for us because there's always other jobs for them that are coming up. Mm. Like there's always opportunities mm. coming through all the time. And if they're going to go on and be actors and actresses, it's a good time to get used to the idea that yeah, that's going to be the case, I suppose. If you'd just uh, pick um. up your phones now, we'll go to line one. Who's there? Dara Sherwood. Dara, what's your question? Did you have to do any real schoolwork when you were filming Grain Hill? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we did. How uh, many hours a day? Um, minimum three hours. But, but, but no, but it's changed now because uh, I think because I joined this, the cast later than Sam and it, it's just changed now to five hours and what happens is if, if you're filming, you go to film and then once you've finished, you, you're like escorted straight back to the schoolroom so I have to pick up the pen and carry on working. So, so difficult to concentrate Very, right? yeah. You're on the film set and then... So do they set up the schoolroom right next door to where you film? We've got um, tutor rooms and a green mm. room and they're all situated like by the studios. And we love, we love the tutors, of course. <laughs> we really did love them. Not open to bribery then. No, they no. weren't. <laughs> oh, no. So you don't no. escape doing schoolwork even though you're in Grange Hill, Zara. Thanks for that question. Okay, um... Yes, sorry? When I am um, Sam's autograph, please. I'm sure we can sort that out. I'm sure we can sort it. Thanks Thank a lot. Bye. Uh, Gemma's got a question now. Where's Gemma? There she is. What did you do for your audition for Grange Hill? Well, I had um, three auditions, and the first audition was um, a little chat, as per usual, and uh, a bit of a script, and I actually went for um, Imelda, first of all, who was the bully, and then we had the second one, and because we'd had the chat and they were really friendly, they were talking about shoes, which was really sh strange, like, as soon as you got in, they were going, oh, what shoes have you got? Oh, they're very nice, and do you usually so make sure clean your shoes, oh, you clean your shoes. <laughs> Both Why days. were they talking shoes? Because they'd found out about all our basics, about our families, and having a chat, and they just thought, oh, there's something to talk about. <laughs> talk shoes? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> nothing to do with the character no. that they wanted you to play. It wasn't that, that this was an important part. No. Oh. And then I went for Laura. George. Oh, I see. And then eventually I got Georgina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, let's go back to the phones and see who's on line two. Who's there? Claire Logan. Claire, what's your question? Some primary school children get frightened of some of the subjects you cover and adults and a few adults don't approve of this. What do you think? Um, well, uh, I, 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 I feel you really strongly you. actually about um, uh, older people's views on Grain Chill because the main thing is what do you want to hear? Do you want us to, 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 to deal with stories that don't happen or do you want us to deal with stories that do happen? Grain Chill tries to deal with stories that do happen in school. Unfortunately, when we do deal with them, they are criticised. But we know that it really happens, don't we? Yeah? We know it happens. What do you think, work, Claire? Well, I like Grand Hill. It's good. And I, I just have heard a few of the adults saying it up at school and stuff. 
they're entitled to their own opinion, aren't they? Yeah. That's right. And would you go along with that, Sam? Definitely. Hmm. I think the programme has an issue and it's something to follow and it's, it's a way to learn. Mm -hmm. I mean, they don't cover a lot of things at school or some people can't talk to their parents. So, it's, it's a good way, really. Perhaps it's helped to see some of the problems you're going through, being yeah. gone through and then sorted out. Well, I, I, you get letters in from, from parents who say, are saying, thank you for covering the issues so carefully and That's really bringing rewarding. up my children yeah. with like good yeah. morals. And so it's not all negative no, from no. adults. Well, when, you do get a, when you do get an adult stopping you, you really feel that you've achieved something because it's not re really aimed at the adult. But when an adult actually does praise you, then that's great. Mm. Thanks for that question. Good question. Uh, right, let's talk to Catherine now. Um, do you have any children who suffered from the problem that you couldn't go to? I actually haven't personally, no. I can't say I have. Can you any? Um, yeah, just briefly, I'd like to say hello to Kerry Lynn, so there we go. But, um, yeah, I do. I do, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's nice to talk to someone that, um, that when you're acting and you really get to them, it's nice to talk to someone and be friends with. That's what I, I really think that's do, do you regard that as a bit of a responsibility, or yeah. rather did you, while you were in Grange Hill, that if someone who identified with you wrote to you about a problem, y you would feel slightly responsible and, and, and follow that through and write back, right. always? I do. I do write back and yeah. I do feel responsible. Yeah. Let's go to the phones now for one more call. I think we've got time to take one more call on line three. Hello, it's Julie Reese. Hello. Um, do you get on well with other people in Grange Hill? Yes, the cast are um, really quite close. We work together for like since well, I've been there since I was 13, and we're with each other most of the week, really. So you haven't got much choice but to get on with each other, especially when you're acting with somebody. It's not very good to act with somebody you don't actually get on with. That's that's not a very wise idea. We have our arguments. Everybody has their little arguments. It's probably just like a tiny little it's like school. A school, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Everyone argues at school, so that's all part of being friends and arguing. So. Yeah. Thanks for that question. Thank you both for coming in this Thank morning. You. Very best of luck with all the things that you're going to go on and do. And uh, it was great to see you on, on going live this morning. Now, over the past few months, there have been so many good films on release that you could have been hard pushed to decide which ones you're going to see. Well, here's to... I thought it was very good. I thought it was um, a bit better than the first one. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, shame, it was um, just a really good laugh. We really had a good time, didn't we? The script is brilliant, and I mean, all of them are so good. You saw the first movie, Three Men and a Baby. I actually just saw the first. Ah, right, it's so you're a bit of a differing there. There's a slight edge on it. I think the only thing that I'm not particularly keen about Three Men and a Baby is it's very predictable, but it's still lovely, it's still great, and worthwhile going to see. And still funny. Yeah, oh. That's the, so that's the main thing, because it's just such an escape from everything. It really puts you in a good mood, mm -hmm. and especially when, the, when it moves to England because he, you know, well I won't say, but he moves to England and he's really funny there as well. And so. you can tell it's an American film. I love the way Americans portray, portray English people. They have the butler and <laughs> the headmistress. Yeah, and the boarding school. Oh, Did they get it right or was it a very, very long way wider than Mark? <sighs> Compared it's, to, yeah, it was. It's it was. right, but it's slightly over the top, but it's very funny the way they portray it. And would you recommend it? Very definitely, much so, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Out of ten, I'd give it nine. Oh, a really good film. Yeah, I'd probably give it a nice one. You would too. Yeah. Terrific. Well, thank you very much for going to uh, to watch it. Mind you, say thank you. I mean, thank you for free. Yeah, I mean, we can't ask for more than that, can you? Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank it's you. been a pleasure. It's been great. Um, our competition. I did mention that we had a competition earlier on. We have two sets of four cinema tickets to give away, <laughs> and there they are. In case you didn't know what they look like, here is the question to what you to answer if you would like. One.